be too dark in here. I have a pretty bad track record when it comes to booking things. I get the dates wrong, I've lost about 4 movie tickets, and I generally just gloss over a lot of important details. Um, but this one's different. I've made a concerted effort to make sure the dates were correct, the quantity was on point, the discount codes were in place. This discount code is one off. I could save $20 on this ticket. Um, but yes, everything is just right. Booking completed. Dude, it feels different, man. This is a totally different feeling. After messing up so many times, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm grateful that this finally, honestly, it's fi finally I get to book something and do it right after doing it wrong for so long. Ah. Uh. Book Disney C, right? Ah, oh, fuck. Please, 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 please. No big deal. I'll, I'll just um, cancel it and rebook it. Not a problem. Just one. I'm sure they have plenty of sales. I'll find something. Not applicable, not applicable, not applicable, not applicable, not applicable. Um. It's not, it's not a big deal. It's not, it's not a big deal. Um, oh, I can figure this out. Um,
it's really okay to feel um, strong emotions towards anything that might not be deserving of it. I have a tendency of really bottling up my feelings and uh, overflowing on something that doesn't really seem like it's worthy of that kind of emotion, but it happens. It's like a little stones that pile up and get heavier and heavier over time. I think one of my really, really close friends noticed that. And so he introduced me to uh, an app called How We Feel. This is not a sponsored video at all, even though I wish it was. So to put it briefly, How We Feel is an application developed by a NGO and a bunch of really smart people to help people like us understand and recognize our emotions. Like it or not, we're surrounded and sometimes encapsulated by it. And um, why not understand it more so we can better utilize it uh, and leverage it for our everyday life. How it works is that every morning and every night, how we feel will ping me to ask me, how do I feel? And I pick a specific word to associate to my emotion. And from there, there's a bunch of different tools that they, they provide. They allow me to journal, reflect, and um, I think most importantly, they allow me to look back on my emotions and what I was doing and sort of see any patterns that uh, could be concerning uh, or could be cool to look back on. Another cool feature that they have is that they allow you to share your emotions to the people closest to you. And all they can do is react with an emoji, which is super, super helpful. Uh, especially if you're in a long distance relationships. My close friend recently moved away and I really do want to check up on him because I really do care about him. Um, and I can do that uh, without texting him, which is sort of an interesting concept, but it's, so far it's been working really well. So I've been using this application for about two weeks now. And what I learned each and every time I choose to use it is that, hey, um, it's okay to feel strong emotions just recognize what that is and why you're feeling that way. And in a weird way, putting a label on it helps you process it better. You kind of put it into words that, hey, I feel ashamed of myself. I don't just feel sad. Um, and what this has also taught me is that I have a choice to either feel the emotion fully as it is or to numb it away. And honestly, the way I see it is that if you choose to numb out your feelings, you're kind of choosing to live life in black and white. And if you choose to feel your emotions fully, no matter how complex the colors are, you live in color. Um, and this brings me to a very interesting question I want to ask each and every one of you. When you look back on your life, do you want it to be in color or in black and white? You guys have the choice. Um, thank you all for tuning in to watching till the end. Um, I hope this has helped you in a way. Uh, it's just me really expressing the strong feelings I've had this entire week. And um, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for your time. And um, yeah, thank you. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, catch you guys in the next one. I'm out again. <laughs>